Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Black Friday Madness video for you guys today. I'm over at Best Buy right now. It's 4.30, they open at 5. The big old line, or not really a big old line this year, is kind of getting wrapped around right now. It's time to go out there for 2016 Black Friday to see what kind of cool movie deals are to be had out there. Um, I just got off of work. I'm kind of tired, kind of kind of pooped out because I was out at a 80s dance club last night with 90s and a, a, an old a friend of mine but let's go black friday shopping baby let's see the deals let's see what we can pick up today well guys the line looks like it was the same as last year you know the same like length and everything like that and who the hell is this quarterback over here quarterback. holy yeah. shit mr nichols man but when's the last time you like you ever go black friday like on video or anything i went last year and actually this is my one year anniversary of collecting oh yeah, yeah for the, the movies yeah yeah for movies so. best buy opens up in like less than 10 minutes now we got to get in there get the movie deals and get the hell up out of there because we don't care about anything else like a tv do you know do you care about the tv no, side i don't just want movies yeah i just want the movies too that's all we're here for but we got to bypass all these other crazy people to get to the deals. So come along with us and let's see what we find. <laughs> oh shit, Mr. Nichols, dude. The line is moving. The line is moving. Are we, are we gonna push? Are we gonna shove to get what we need? Is that why you is that why you wore this? You could be like just like cowboys, ten and one, baby. Oh shit. Oh now the line stopped. You gotta bulldoze through them, dude. That's why that's why you dressed up like that, right? Yep. Alright, do it. Do it. Take out this whole family. Okay, Mr. Nichols, we're in here. People are running. People are going crazy. We gotta find where the deals are, Mr. Nichols. Uh, that guy doesn't look like he cares. But like, Mr. Where? Dude, <gasps> we gotta go, Mr. Nichols. We gotta go. We gotta go. Where are the deals? Oh, okay. Here they are, Mr. Nichols. Okay, 3.99 Blu-rays. Okay, what do we need to get? What do we need to get? Let's take a look at some of these. Have all the Ice Age ones for 3.99. Are these 3.99? All these ones, 3.99 and up. The price tags are on the side, Mr. Nichols. You gotta make sure. Oh Jesus, what is there to be had here? Which it? I don't care about the witch. I don't know. Like these are like the price. The price tags are kind of like off on here. Three ninety nine up. Yeah, I don't want to like look in these small little things to find out what the price tag the prices are. Eh, yoink. Uh, let's see what else is down here. Let's see what else I'm gonna get. Oh, do I have that? Have that? Have that? Have that? Got that last year. Some of these ones that I'm seeing are from like previous years, guys. Yeah, guys, this thing is real kind of confusing. Like this, this, this whole little system that they have going on in here. You have to, you have to like look real small to like try to figure out what exactly the prices are because they're not like marked as this as, as and up. We're gonna have to like figure out what the, the prices really are when we're at the registers later. Really, really kind of messed up what's going on over here. You know, due to previous years. Nah, I'm spending like a hundred dollars today. You guys spend like a hundred bucks? You think? think so oh shit yeah guys this whole system that they have at best buy right now is really kind of like whacked out when it comes to the pricing and all that kind of stuff it's like people over here trying to figure out what the pricing is they wish they had like price scanners and everything like mr nichols is up over there trying to figure out you know what certain prices are for certain things like i have a little stack of things i don't even know if i really even need the stuff that i have in my hand right now to be honest but okay. and you see all the other people all the people hoarding around the movies right now it's kind of hard to like you know uh, to get a hold of like you know what the hell is there to try to show you guys but it's just a lot of like the generic kind of stuff that you've seen from previous years especially when it comes to like dvds and things they have like you know zootopia and uh, civil war which i think they might be 8.99 but i'm not really sure 7.99 and up they have like deadpool up over here uh, more zootopia x-men apocalypse and different things they have like other tv shows like big bang and everything but like, like I said, a lot of the stuff from like, you know, previous years. Well guys, me and Mr. Nichols now, we picked up the movies that we may or may not be getting right now. We're in line, we're in the refrigerator section, and we have to like wait through all this craziness to get up and pay for these couple of movies. Ha ha! As Wasting Money One would say, we got out of Best Buy, let's get the hell out of here. I got a bag of some shit I probably don't even need. We've I didn't got get a bag, I'm Reese resourceful hey, shut the fuck up well guys on to my next location target i don't know where the hell mr nichols is he's supposed to meet me up over here but there's already a line of people up over here at this target too i'm not even sure exactly what time they open excuse me what time is target open six o'clock six okay well just found that they open at six and it's like 15 till so i'm gonna get in line jesus christ guys this line is bigger than best buys one there's like people just sitting down just like chilling and it goes all the way back like best you know uh, target it's like, you know, a handful of stores away, and the line just keeps going and going. This is definitely a little bit more crazier uh, than years past, and uh, I don't even know if I'm going to find Mr. Nichols in here, if he's even arrived yet. <laughs> Mr. Nichols? Mr. Nichols, are you here? No. All right. All right, guys, we made it in the store now. I'm going to be one of those douchebags 
that tries to, oh, you have to go around the store. They block off the different sections with different carts. So you can't run, uh, you know, to the ones you want. You're not going to run. You don't want to do that in here. But yeah, you do. Because if you want to get to the movie deals before any other douche nugget, you kind of have to, you know, break away from the pack. We got people hoarding up on remote control cars. We got like all these Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo, Jesus Christ. The same thing with teddy bears. People are buying teddy bears by the pound. Over here, teddy bears over there. All right, I think I found where the movies are. And here we go. This looks like some of the same ones, you know, from earlier this week, this past Tuesday. TV show seasons for 10 bucks up over here. Uh, Mr. Robot. Uh, this is this is 10 bucks. This is a show I kind of want to see, but I know there's a Blu-ray of it, but the Blu-ray is like 30 uh, from the other times I've seen. But here's a little scan of uh, some of the sales that you guys you guys can get on Black Friday for your, for 10 bucks. They have uh, four dollar uh, DVDs. Some of the, some of the titles that Target has over here. Just get a quick little uh, scan of some of the same stuff. Let's see. There's like people hoarding on the movies up right over here, and they have like finding you have Finding Dory Blu-ray uh, for for 10 bucks. If you're a fan of that movie, you got to get it. You get Star Trek uh, Beyond for nine dollars here on Blu-ray. Just a handful of other like just DVDs and of like recent movies too, like uh, uh, Angry Birds and stuff. I have never seen it, but I don't even know if I'm really interested in it. And a couple of other like random things. Let's see what else they have in here. Of course, they have no price tags on this one, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And now uh, it's nine dollars uh, for Ice Age uh, Collision Course. Earlier this week, it was like ten or eleven or something like that. Was looking through here, trying to see what kind of uh, you know deals I can find of of anything core or something I, do, I, I don't already have. If you guys know what I'm saying here. All right, guys, I'm gonna head on over to the movie section over here, see if there's anything uh, different on sale instead of those little end caps. Mr. Nichols, dude, what's up, bro? What's going on? Um, I have that one thing you wanted since you were uh, kind of running late. Thank you. You wanted Finding Dory, it's ten bucks. But you know what? I got one in the case. Oh. Oh, all right then. And guys, there's people out there these days that say physical media is dead. But just look at all the people hoarding up on them right now. Like, you know, it's just like hordes of people all up over here on the movie section. So physical media may be out, but not quite yet. Whoa, -ho! whoa, we're at a Target now. And guess what? You got carded and uh... Oh, what the heck? I got carded yep. asking me for my ID. Never, ever. Yep. And then this lady at the checkout was asking to see my receipt when she saw me check out. Yep, and... I was gonna get like two or three things in there and I got fucked because I, I put my card in and it says, you know, like computer error and like chip error. I'm Man. like, are you serious right now? Like, it, no, I ain't broke. No, I ain't broke. I just got paid. Uh -huh. All right, everyone, I'm at my next location of the day. It was gonna be Walmart, but boop, I'm over here at the ATM at Bank of America to see what the hell's going on with my card since I couldn't buy any of the stuff I wanted to get at Target. Ha ha! Money, motherfucker! My shit works! Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. Wally World, here I come, baby. You better have some deals in there for me today, or I'm gonna be one crazy ass movie fiend. Cause I'm fiending for some Blu ray goodness, baby. Well, guys, I'm in line for the movies right now, and I just found out it's like a 30 minute wait just to find out what DVDs and Blu rays and/or video games they have for sale over here. Am I gonna wait? Yeah, probably, because I'm a stupid hoarder. One, I'm over here in the movie section now, taking a look at some of the deals that they have over here at uh, Wally World. I'm not exactly sure what the prices are, because it's just like, you know, color things with only one thing that says $5.96 on it. But uh, I'm going to look through some of these and, you know, see if I find anything cool. SpongeBob, uh, Lone Survivor. Uh, I don't know if I'm interested in that or not. Uh, maybe the Grinch if it's, if it's a good price. Let's see if, what else they have up in here. Fifty Shades of Grey. Don't know, I heard it's nothing but, I heard it's garbage, but I don't know what the hell the price is. Here's some more of the deals that uh, Walmart has. I guess green is $1.96, yellow is that $3.96, and so on and so forth. And of course they have like TV shows mixed in with like just different other movies and things. Over here, nothing really of interest over here. I kind of want to get into this show, but I might get it on Blu-ray one of these days. And they still have a display like they did last year or the year before of just all Medea movies up over here, which is kind of, kind of cool, but like, it's probably the same, like the same thing they had from last year that this no one bought that's just still sitting in the back. But they just show them now. We'll hear some more of the newer ones, like Ballers and Dragon Ball Z. 
That, that might be for Gabriel if, it was, if Gabriel was here. But that's like 10 bucks though. Not a lot of great deals in my opinion. And here's some more of the, the Blu-rays that they have over here, guys. Some of the same ones from like Target and Best Buy. Just a, a little bit like higher priced uh, than the other stores that I've noticed so far. So it's kind of picked over some of the Divi Divergent series, um, you know, Mockingbird, M M Mockingjay and all that kind of stuff. I guess this guy likes physical media. And uh, this is, like I said, more and more DVDs, DVDs, like a lot of DVDs that this company, these companies are trying to, you know, to get rid of over here. They try, it's like kind of sparse to try to find wherever like the, the Blu-rays are when, when, it, when it comes to these places. But it's a lot of the like same old stuff that you've seen, like I said, years in and year, you know, years before, like older titles they couldn't get rid of before. And uh, like some of, you know what I mean, like Spider -Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Serpico, and Serpico is actually a decent one. But like you know, a lot, a lot of Divergent series and a lot of Hunger Games th th this this go around uh, when it comes to Black Friday. So if you're like a fan of those movies and you don't have any of them, that this is like the place to be to to get them for the you know a decent deal and stuff. You know. Well, out of the madness, which is the physical media department over here at Walmart, I have a handful of titles in my hand, and like these, these the prices that I, I they are are like the prices I can probably get them online or even cheaper online used. Like, you know, the Grinch that stole Christmas, and Fifty Shades of Grey, and, uh, you know, the... Uh, I think I might even have this one on Blu-ray already. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna like, wait another big old line just to get these, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know why I was grabbing them in the first place. So, I'm gonna be getting on out of here now, going home, and showing you guys the small haul of stuff I've ordered up on today. All right, everyone, I'm back home now from Black Friday shopping for 2016 right over here. Sadly, Mr. Nichols and I went different ways in our hoarding adventure. If you guys wanna see what Mr. Nichols got for his end of the video, check out his channel, link down below. He bought a handful of things. Me, only bought a small stack of things over at Best Buy. Couldn't get anything at Target because my card wasn't working for some odd reason. But then I went on over to Walmart, or Walmart, and uh, just looked around. I didn't really see anything I really needed to get, but I just wanted to show you the stuff I did pick up over at Best Buy. Uh, all the stuff I got totaled uh, thirty dollars and forty-seven cents. So I didn't really get all that much this year. But I'm not, I'm not just gonna buy stuff just for the hell of it, even though I kind of sort of did at Best Buy. Uh, I picked up uh, Kingsman and the Secret Service uh, Blu-ray right here. I believe it was three ninety-nine. I'm like, okay, cool. Also picked up Home. Uh, this is a uh, the Blu-ray edition. Uh, I've never seen the film before. It looks like looks like it could be interesting. I believe this was a uh, three ninety nine, and uh, picked up this one. Never seen it. Uh, a couple of friends of mine said it was okay. I'm not a super big fan of the X-Men movies, but I picked up X-Men Apocalypse. I believe this was seven ninety nine at a uh, at Best Buy, like ten bucks at Walmart and all the other places, but seven ninety nine at Best Buy. And I picked up uh, London Has Fallen. Uh, this was, I believe, four ninety nine. I, I could be, I could be a little bit wrong. Five ninety nine, four ninety nine, something like that. Uh, I saw Olympus Has Fallen. That was kind of cool. I uh, have yet seen this one, so I got, uh, I got that one. London Has Fallen. And the last thing I picked up uh, for my hoarding adventure for uh, Black Friday Madness twenty sixteen is Ted Two. Yep, I said screw it. Got it. It was four ninety nine or something like that. Six ninety nine. And uh, I said, okay, cool. I have the other one. I'll watch it at least once. But uh, yeah, like this stuff is like, this year was just kind of underwhelming. You know, what I mean, not a lot, of, not a lot of great deals out there. I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys. Going, oh my god, great deals everywhere. For some reason, it's just kind of like lackluster, lackluster again this year. It's got a small stack of stuff, and some of it I don't even really need. Probably like Ted Two and Home. I'm like, eh, what? You know. But that's my little stack for. Black Friday uh, 2016 here. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys picked up this year. Oh guys, I wanted to let you guys know one last thing. Uh, my Night Owls Blu-ray uh, is on sale right now for Black Friday. If you guys go to MidnightMovieWatchers.com, link will be on the, the top of the description box of this video. You can get my Night Owls Blu-ray for 40% off right now on that website. Instead of it being $19.99, it'll be you know 40% off of that. So if you guys want to get a hold of my short films that feature Ron Jerry me, Sean Phillips, Cool Duder, a handful of cool people like Lloyd Kaufman and stuff, Gabriel and everybody. Get this Blu-ray, man. Support us. It'd be really kind of cool. And now it's 40% off, baby. So if you guys want to get a copy, check out MidnightMovieWatchers.com. And all you have to do is put promo code WETMOVIE1, all lowercase letters, and uh, bam. This is 40% off for you, man. MidnightMovieWatchers.com. Check it out, man, and support my short films. But guys, if you guys like my Black Friday video, give this one a thumbs up. Share it around on your Facebook, Twitters, your social media sites and stuff, and I'll see you hoarders all next time.